right there? Never open that door, ever. There is just an enemy in there, and that is it. Nothing you need to go see. Just another grunt. He is kind enough to not patrol the area should you not open that door. So just keep him in there. <laughs> That's the same thing happening. He's just getting killed. Yeah, I should do some three cutscenes to do it. I think they could be a little more efficient with their murder machine parts, which is what we're trying to get to. So. missing rod. The full set of three rods is unavailable. There is one rod in the inner study rooms, which might work in case the elevator breaks down again. Unless it is absolutely necessary, always use the spare rods in the storage before using a mended one. Alright, we got three now. There's our enemy. Uh, I like to call him Steve. I think he's going to attempt to come in this room. Let's crouch down here for now. Until that danger music goes away. You hear that little kind of bass beat in the background. That means we're under threat of an enemy, I think. It means he's looking around, but he hasn't spotted us. When he spotted us, it's going to play this awful <coughs> noise. You don't want to hear that noise. Okay, we can hear his voice. He's still out there. these grunts. If there are any good things about grunts. Oh yeah, that's the one that was hidden in there. The door will automatically open to get that thing. Go the tinderbox over here. Um, yeah, so now he's walking around looking for us. This might be one of those parts where it's having to go be killed. Is that even in the when they're in the dark, you can still 
shit, he's coming. He's coming. He's definitely coming. Get to a dark spot. To a very, very dark spot. Pass. Pass. Ish. He might turn this corner. He might not. I'm not sure. I don't know if he just wants me to wait around. I think he wants to get you out of this area. I don't know if he just wants to wait around. We want to leave your way through. Run past him. And if he hits us, we can just. Because these guys don't kill you in one hit. I think at full health, and we are at full health, they, they kill you in three hits. Three hits. So you can tank up to two hits and use a lot of them to be good again. Or if you're good at the kiting method I mentioned earlier, you can kite them. We get a nice enemy free puzzle zone next. <laughs> oh, oh no, it filled up our nice friendly place. Don't forget your bag, Daniel. I went, Herbert. There is no shame in using a parasol in the desert. As it happens, it's imperative to your survival. But it looks ridiculous. The shame will hurt. Much less than dying, I assure you. There's a corpse here all of a sudden. Who put that there? What? What's he doing here, damn it? Oh, they messed up my cool fountain. I don't know why they made it kind of cooler. I was spitting blood. They can take away from your sand now. So let's not do that. There's an easy chance to get a lot of sanity up in this next room. This is what we've been trying to fix the whole time. Because you haven't seen it yet. It's an elevator. You have an ascending room. Would it take us to the inner sanctum? Stupid it will definitely century. take care of the vertical part of our journey. So, you have ridden an elevator before? Yes, the Colosseum of Regent's Park has one. It takes you to the gallery where you can view the panorama. Good. This ride might be a little longer. And in the other direction. So we have the key of the machine room, and we have the three rods to steal. If you were to try the elevator, it's a broken force. So, mm -hmm. with an orb resting in their hands, ooh. Strange. It's almost like Assassin's Creed in a way, where they look for something unusual recorded throughout history and they turn it into the subject of a game. Like an Assassin's Creed where they took the gossip surrounding the Templars and the Fifth of July, 1839. Today I went to the university looking for answers. I was able to sneak into Herbert's office and pick up an address book along with some relevant textbooks. Professor Taylor at the Faculty of History was very helpful and I managed to approach the subject of the orbs. The most interesting aspect was the prevalent trace they had left in our culture. The mythic orbs may, in fact, have inspired the Globus Cruciger, which so many royal regalia holds to this day. In ancient times, the orbs were held by priests as a symbol of the sun and its power. As I was leaving, I overheard a disturbing conversation. Sir William Smith, the geologist, was killed last night. Less than a fortnight had passed since I'd asked for his expertise. I know it's silly, but I can't help feeling responsible somehow. Yeah, that's no coincidence. Okay, so if you remember the note from the study way back when, it said eight up and eight down on the pressure. So we have to move these levers in such a way that the top numbers add up to eight and the bottom numbers add up to eight. So let's do one more. Five, two, one. I have to turn on. Okay. Oh, I just do this. Easier. Um. And five and three. There we go. Nice. Might get some sanity for that. Unless we only get some after completing all the puzzles. Where's my sanity at here? Not the lowest reading, but a pretty low reading. This is where we need the rods. 
So we have a flow flow cycle rod, four phase amplitude rod, and trinity steam rod. So trinity, of course, means triangle. Four phase, of course, means square. And flow cycle means circle. I don't know. Machine equipment are now. Note that there are only two spare rods left in the storage of the elevator machinery. Make sure to only discard the ones that are badly damaged and keep the others in the inner study rooms in case all three will crack. Okay, we're not going to need this elevator that long. We're not going to need this gear though, so let's take him down. Every book I can find on the subject. While rich in legend and hearsay, my knowledge is lack for the insight I crave. I've sent letters to many in Herbert's address book and received answers of varying importance. Today, I got one which differed greatly from the others. From a baron in Prussia. He said nothing about the quaint stories of priests in underground temples. He didn't even mention them. He simply wrote, I know. I can protect you. Come to Brennenburg Castle. Signed, Alexander. This is where he takes notice. What am I to make of this? Protect me from what? Is someone after me? I looked up Brennenburg and traced it to the Prussian woods near the Baltic Sea. While being the least informative letter I've received, it causes me greatest distress and interest. As I write, my thoughts are drawn to my nightmares in which a most disturbing sound calls to me. A sound defying description. A voice from the void. The last few weeks have been awful, with so many sleepless nights dreading a repeat of those horrid dreams. Tomorrow, I shall visit my physician, Dr. Tate, in hope that he can provide me with sedatives to help me sleep. Oh uh, yeah, the thing we saw with the sedatives skin flayed as if boiled. I feel like I'm falling into myself. What's happening? Sir William Smith, Professor Taylor, now Dr. Tate. Is it following me? How can it not be? 
It's the damn thing I brought from Africa. Something is after me. I have no choice but to trust the Baron. He better know what he claims. If he is wrong, I suspect he'll regret it as well. So, after that, decides we're gonna break through. Yeah, this is the guy who visited William Smith. Now I'm going in the elevator down to one of my least favorite places in the game. We get to go to the prison. Oh boy. That sounds fun enough already, I know, but there are also enemies patrolling. Yeah. I wonder if they're going to make that a staple of these games. Is that... Oh, that's a far away view of Brennan Burke. We don't get to see that that often. But I wonder if they're going to make it a staple of the Amnesia series. <laughs> they all need to have an elevator crash somewhere. So this is the last safe ground we get to see in a while. This one room. And a nice heap of debris. A lot of Come this way. Well, we're gonna have to move it. Forgive me, I should have warned you. One of my responsibilities as a baron is that of a prison warden. This is where criminals are locked up. Like a dungeon? Very much so. Come, don't linger. He's not exactly giving us the full story now, clearly. More than just prisoners are kept in these cells. someplace like over here and you know stop using you to actually like protect us from the horrible creatures behind that door. I don't think there are any of them in the immediate hallway but what's even worse about the prison is that it doesn't even end when you think you're done. There's a prison south and a prison north. I'm gonna go through both of them. I'm not sure which one we're in now. Okay, yeah, so your eyes are just in the dark after a second. Let's go forward. Gosh, I don't think there are any here. to catch you walking around is right here in this light. There are guards patrolling from the very start. Be aware. There are also tons of little cells all around the side, which are their go-to hiding spots. In the box. I think there is one thing we need to find out there. Suddenly alone. Okay, let's be collapsing some point. But um but now he's gotta move forward. Nothing else down here.
here. Uh, well, he's found this for a second. Did you hear the beginning of that wine? The chase wine? Yeah, it started. And, and it stopped. He must have unnoticed us. Like, he turned to look at us, too. videos like the week of Halloween. So I'm going to be doing them way in advance so I don't get lazy like I do with Oblivion. I <laughs> upload like one video every three days. I'm lucky. Locked, corroded, and weak. So this room I'm not sure is a good hiding spot. Where is she? Where did she go? <laughs> no. Oh, 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 no. O